She turned the world on with her smile. And I'm Mary Richards. And she changed the world, too. Mary Tyler Moore revolutionized the role of the modern American woman with her iconic comedic performances on The Dick Van Dyke Show and The Mary Tyler Moore Show, portraying Hollywood's first independent career-driven woman. The only reason he was paid more than I am is because he was a man. In the new documentary, Being Mary Tyler Moore, never-before-seen pictures and archival footage found in Mary's own basement introduces us to the woman behind the smile. This is Robert. Hello. How would you describe your Mary? My Mary was someone who had an uh, enormous heart. Dr. Robert Levine and Mary were married for more than 30 years before her passing in 2017. They met by coincidence. Mary's mom was sick and needed a doctor. Robert was on call. When I was about to leave, I said what you'd expect a doctor to say. Mary, if you have any concerns or any further questions, just give me a call. And she turns to me and she says, is acute loneliness a good enough reason to call? <laughs> and in fact, a few days later, at 3 a.m., she called me. Were you yeah. shocked? Absolutely. <laughs> One of the parts of the documentary that's so beautiful is video from her bridal shower. She says, he made me a tuna fish sandwich. Yeah. He made it just for me, and it was the first act of real love. That was the moment that... She says she, she real, realized that she loved me. And when I saw it, I said, my goodness, a simple act of kindness mm -hmm. that changed both of our lives. Robert and Mary built this home together. Mary's presence is felt in each room. The shelves in the library are filled with scripts from every one of her performances. I see those little yeah, she drew. she drew that. Mary, her handwriting. In her office, some of Mary's proudest moments are on display. So Mary won seven Emmys, <laughs> a bunch of Golden Globes. Did she keep this in from the set? Yeah, it's close. <laughs> yeah, that is a replica of the original M. Robert says one of the roles she was most proud of was her advocating for diabetes research. Mary was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes in her early 30s people know Mary, too, as a philanthropist. Yeah. But through all her effort to help find cures, Mary was suffering from significant complications, which she kind of held in the background. But the diagnosis wasn't her only challenge. She struggled with alcoholism and suffered a devastating loss. Her only son, Richie, died at 24 years old. She faced a lot of pain in yes. her life. How did she get through all that? She always believed that you push through. You have to keep progressing because we all face challenges in our lives. One of her key attributes was her resilience. Now Robert has dedicated his life to carrying on Mary's legacy and her work with diabetes. She struggled with loss of vision due to her own diabetes, and so he started the Mary Tyler Moore Vision Initiative that works to help with vision loss and honors the Hollywood icon. Thank you for being my family. <laughs> Robert's greatest act of kindness for his beloved wife. She's with me every day. The pain of her loss is unreconciled. But I feel her love all around me. I try and honor her in everything that I do. So you sort of think, what would Mary do? What would Mary do? When I think about how I want the world to remember Mary, mm -hmm. I look to what I have etched in her memorial. Her spirit of beacon, her smile eternal, she made us better. Oh my word. Wow. He's such a lovely man. And you think about how that chance encounter brought this love together, but also he is a doctor. And so her her one of her greatest acts was of course what she did with diabetes. Yeah. And he was her partner. And all of that, y'all, this documentary is groundbreaking. Mm. It's beautiful. And they found all of this footage in their basement. Wow. She, they were putting it together and, and they said, well, do you have anything more personal? Mm. And he went down and he found this footage, including that moment where she was telling all of her friends about him and why she <gasps> fell in love with oh him at God. her bridal oh shower. Um, but you know, they are just, it's, it's it, what she did for women mm -hmm. is unparalleled, but we haven't really heard about their love story before, mm -hmm. which you will hear in the documentary. Wow. She was the first woman to wear pants on television. Wow. Ooh. 
Holy moly. And, you know, not to make a statement, yeah. she just said, just I'm, I'm a young mom, yeah. and I'm playing a young mom, yeah. and I don't wear a frilly skirt yeah. to, like, yeah. you know, <laughs> take care of my kids. Right. I wear pants. Right. Let's make things realistic. Wow. Anyway, she's remarkable. Beautiful. Watch the documentary. We will. Oh, we will. So Sounds oh, awesome. Jenna, thanks, thanks Jenna. Jenna. We should mention Being Mary mm -hmm. Tyler Moore premieres on Friday on HBO and then will be available to stream on Max. Beautiful. Check it out. Beautiful. Hey, thanks for watching. Don't miss the Today Show every weekday at 11 a.m. Eastern, 8 Pacific on our streaming channel, Today All Day. To watch, head to today.com slash all day or click the link right here.